yo, it's your boy Emrick Sal Guapo, man. Street certified news. And we back with another one. Man, first off, man, gotta, you know what I'm saying, send a big shout out to all the viewers, man. Y'all ran that last video up. Shout out to the dude in the comments who said we shot too low. You know what I'm saying? We should ask for more likes, man. So, hey, on this video, man, before we even get started, man, let's get this video to a thousand likes. You know what I'm saying? Let's run it up. Um, part two of the O Block 5 case, Rico case, slash FBG Doug murder investigation. Um, if you didn't watch the last episode, man, please check out uh, part one. We broke down uh, who cooperator one was. Uh, sadly, man, it was the boy Trenches News, man. I know a lot of people rock with him. Uh, like we said in the previous video, uh, we did, you know what I'm saying, have a relationship with bro on some work shit, like maybe a talk about different stories and shit like that. So it kind of was a surprise to me that, you know, his name had kind of came across, you know what I mean, my desk and shit, man. And uh, like I said, man, uh, when I spoke with him uh, right before I dropped the video, he told me he was going to give me an interview. It still hasn't materialized. So as promised, man, y'all hit the likes last video. As promised, man, I'm gonna break down real quick before we move on to Cooperator 2. Uh, I'm gonna break down real quick, basically like some additional information, you know, that verified to me that, you know, Trenches News is Cooperator 1 on the uh, O Block Fabrico case, man. You know, I straight up asked him when we was on the phone. I said, hey, bro, did, did you talk to the feds? Um, bro admitted. A few months ago, he talked to the feds, you know what I'm saying? They, they contacted him. Uh, he had to get a lawyer. Um, and, you know, he, I guess, negotiated some sort of, uh, you know, statement that he could make through his lawyer or whatever. I wasn't sure about that. We ain't talk about that part. But he did tell me that he got the lawyer. He had the meeting. The lawyer was, you know, either present or facilitating the meeting. And that, you know, the FBI man showed him text messages between him and the boy Kenny Mack uh, right after the murder of FBG Duck, as well as like a little bit like before. And it was kind of like an ongoing text thread, like all during out that whole event. Um, he says that the FBI showed him some evidence in the text messages that kind of made him look bad. I ain't gonna talk about that shit. <laughs> Based on what the feds showed him, his lawyer suggested that he tell the feds whatever, you know, they wanted to know. Uh, during the conversation I had with Trenches News, he let me know, man, I ain't talking about no murders. It wasn't no, it wasn't nothing other than, you know, this is what O-Block is, this is how it was, blah, 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 blah. Either way, bro admitted, man, he cooperated one. You know what I mean? I know he had did a live and kind of talked about it a little bit. But during the conversation, man, he just kept saying, like, basically the dude, Kenny Mac, put him in some bullshit by texting him about shit right after the murder, as well as just continuously texting him, like, on some friendly shit. He just pulled him in. So basically, if you look at the paperwork, you know, all these people that Kenny Mac was texting got sucked into the investigation, including the dude, Trenches News, man. And, you know, because his lawyer said, hey, you may want to cooperate with them so that they don't put you into the RICO. There you go, man. Trenches News cooperated one. But, yeah, we just wanted to put that out there, man. Bro basically admitted it to me on the phone and told me why. You know what I'm saying? He said the dude Kenny Mac did him bogus. And, you know, shit, he was thinking about his family. And, you know, he ain't in the streets no more. He a civilian and all of that. You know what I'm saying? We wish, bro, all the best, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this... Our channel, man, we here for the news, man. We here to tell good street stories for street niggas, man. You see what I'm saying? And we not trying to bring trenches news down. We not trying to bring really nobody down. And that's what I was telling them on the phone, bro. Like, look, you just happen to be the motherfucker that popped up. Like, it's, it's not coming at you. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? We do similar things again. Like, we not trying to go for bloggers. We not trying to, you know, out motherfuckers. But at the same time, like, in this street culture, it's certain shit you gotta abide by. And if people is not abiding by that shit, whether they popular or not, bro, like we gotta get their ass the fuck up out of there. But you know, that's that's hit neither here nor there. You know what I'm saying? The main thing is that we not trying to take people down. We not trying to, you know what I'm saying, take platforms down. We not trying to out people. Like, this not like fun or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? We, we really like telling y'all good street stories. 
And this just so happened to be like the biggest story in a long time, man. The dude trenches got pulled up in it, man, because of Kenny Mack. Either way, he admits he sat down with the feds. He gave them what they wanted. You know what I'm saying? Story is over, man. All right, so let's get into Cooperator 2. The FBI states that Cooperator 2 lived in Parkway Gardens from the late 2000s until recently and was an active member when O Block was called Wick City. According to Cooperator 2, members of O Block were expected to shoot at and kill ops on site. That was the only way to go up in the ranks, outside of selling drugs, having a lot of money, or becoming a popular rapper. According to the feds, Cooperator 2 was for a short time a drug dealer, but they don't believe he killed anyone. According to Cooperator 2, the leaders of O Block were Boss Top, known as Individual A, Duke, known as Individual B, and BJ, known to the government as Individual C. Along with those men, the government also highlight Davon Bennett, aka King Von, who they admit had already passed. That first part, man, we I wanted to highlight Cooperator 2 mainly because, you know what I'm saying, it, it kind of gives you a look into who Cooperator 2 is as well as who Cooperator 2 isn't. Um, you know, doing our research, man, we seen people talk about, man, this BJ, man, this boss top. Um, even though them dudes are not indicted, which is kind of weird to, 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 to charge a gang with Rico, but like the top people, you put them in the paperwork, they're the top people, but then they not the top people on the indictment. That is kind of weird. But I think it was mainly because they didn't have any direct evidence of those dudes' involvement in all of this shit. It just so happened that they was the leaders and some other niggas just ran off and did their own thing. I think that's what they put in the paperwork. And, and if they were to put them dudes on the indictment, it'll really like soften the, 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 the Rico. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like, what? These dudes, if they the leaders, you don't got no evidence on them. So even though they, they name them individual A, B, and C in the paperwork, and they admit they're probably the leaders, they kind of left them off the indictment. You know what I'm saying? Which is, that's weird. But either way, um, once they were named, uh, once they were named individual A, B, and C, that is their name in the indictment. You know what I'm saying? Like, so they can't be cooperator B and witness three. Like, it's, it's, once you get that name, you get that name. So every time they reference boss top in the in the paperwork he's gonna be referenced as individual a um every time they reference a swiper in the shit he cooperator one you see what i'm saying and you never gonna switch names so once they gave them dudes them names you knew it's not bj it's not boss top it's not uh you know what i'm saying uh of course it's not king von it's not none of those people because they're already named and they're given different names than cooperator two so cooperator two is somebody that's not them dudes Outside of those who felt that the unindicted leaders of O-Block could also be possibly the cooperators, a number of other possible members would jump on the radar. Reggie Dorsey, aka Man Man, was one of those men. For good reason, the streets immediately believed Man Man to be one of the cooperators. This lack of trust for Man Man stemmed from a 2017 incident where Dorsey pointed out O Block member Rage, aka Antoine Jones, as the shooter of an 11 year old girl in Parkway Gardens. Dorsey claimed Jones saw an op inside the gates of Parkway and began shooting, accidentally shooting the girl. While some believe Man Man did the right thing by outing a baby killer, others have a more sinister take on the event. Ironically, Rachie Dorsey, aka Man Man, will also be present the day FBG Duck was killed. Unnamed in the indictment, Dorsey, aka Witness 2, would be seen on surveillance footage, quietly following Ralph Turpin, aka THFTZ. I remember that story when it happened, man. Um, sadly, there was an 11 year old girl back in 2017 um, who was shot during, I guess they were, originally the report was that it was two groups of people shooting at each other and an 11 year old girl was caught in a crossfire. Um, the story ended up coming out was that this dude, Antoine Jones, saw someone who he thought was like, wasn't supposed to be in their little area. He was an ob, he's not supposed to be over here. And literally, as soon as he saw him, he started shooting. Sadly, the 11 year old girl was sitting on her porch and you know, she was shot and killed. Um, a lot of people praised O Block at the time because it seemed like they kind of gave the police the baby killer. Um, 
like I said, doing research, I, I did see that some people were upset at Man Man for, for doing that. He is definitely on the paperwork. We're going to show that he's on the paperwork of, you know, he's the person. Reggie Dorsey is the person who says that Antoine Jones did this on his day. So, I mean, he, he really did come out and tell the police what it was. And that kind of made him an outcast, you know what I'm saying? Even though it was the right thing and some people thought it was the right thing. You know, a lot of the young dudes weren't fucking with that shit. You know what I'm saying? They fucked with Antoine. And now, bro, locked up on a murder. And you the one that told the police. So, Man Man was kind of an outcast at this time. And he happened to be with the dude Teezy. And I think that group of people were like the people that, you know, they was on the outs, but they was in. And something like this, man, to be honest, is probably why Teezy was so excited. Because something like this would be like perfect to bring them closer inside. You know what I'm saying? The old block gang, the BDs, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It would bring them closer to all of that money, all of that fame. And the paperwork, man, man, being the person with THF Teezy, was named witness number two. Um, most likely he was named witness number two because he did cooperate but it, it, the feds didn't really need his information because they know he was present at the murder they got him there so when they come to him they like look man just sign this paper saying you was there you saw what happened if we need to call you at trial we will and buddy signed the paper and shit um, but they didn't actually use his information to like make the recon charge. And that's what they're saying Cooperator 2 was. Cooperator 2 was an older O Block person. He's the one that actually helped them make the Rico. To elaborate further as to why Cooperator number two could not be Man Man, Reggie Dorsey was born in 1998, meaning that when he joined the gang, he would only been nine years old. How much would the gang show a nine year old? Also, going back to our earlier statement regarding Boss Top and BJ, the feds will not call Man Man, who was witness number two, cooperator number two. So who was cooperator number two? Well, cooperator number two would be an older O Block member who would have been around 11 to 13 years old in 2007. He would have sold drugs and attended meetings but never carried out violence like murders. The FBI mainly used cooperator number two to get info on the racketeering, structure, meetings, income, history, and leadership of the gang. When really breaking down O Block then to now, and taking into account all those members either passed or imprisoned, only a few names are left. And out of those names, who would be willing to talk to anyone, let alone the feds, about internal structure and business of O Block? Who would know enough to tell the feds all they wanted to know? Man, we really appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is just part two of the series. You know what I'm saying? We're going to break down all of the cooperators, one through four, in the O-Block Rico slash FBG Doug murder case. Um, I know y'all probably wanted me to, like, drop, drop the name of cooperator number two. Um... But to be honest, man, uh, the government, just with this paperwork, the government really made the description of cooperator number two uh, kind of vague. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it wasn't really much unique information in the document to kind of check back against like how it was, you know what I'm saying, with the boy trenches. Um, and, you know, we definitely want to be transparent with you guys and give you as much info uh, as we currently can on the story. So that's why we're dropping the story how it is now. You know, we also wanted to give you guys an update on Trenches News, man, because to be honest, we were supposed to do the interview and Buddy kind of spun me. So we definitely wanted to give y'all the, the, the info that I wanted him to tell you guys himself. But hey, um, he did let me know, man, go ahead and drop your story. I'm not going to do the interview. So we wanted to let you guys know that as well. Um, and hey, man, it's your boy Emrex El Guapo, man. Street Certified News, we're going to continue to report this story. Um, and as soon as we're able to like have a solid name for cooperator number two, we're going to drop a video on that. And then, you know, we're going to let you guys know uh, as we move on to cooperator three and cooperator four, man. Again, man, appreciate the love, man. Smack that like button, man. Smack that comments, man. Smack the subscribe, man. Smack everything, man. Smack all the rats, man. It's your boy, MXL Guapo, man. Street Certified News, man. We out.